Good afternoon, y'all. It's Libby with Gemini Homestead. We're on day two of substitutes. Now, what got me to thinking about doing a video, and this is going to be short, is because I was actually looking at social media. And I, I guess I never realized. But there is a lot of people out there, which let me say this, I am so proud there is so many people out there who is in the kitchen, not only just learning to cook, but cooking with their family. So the family's learning. So we can take this stay in place, stay at home situation, and we can make something good out of it. Um, family memories like no tomorrow, you know, because the world today is so fast paced. And I wanna believe in my heart that when all of this is over, that I think a lot of people are gonna take the shoulder of the road, slow down. Um, I just, I feel that, I'm gonna pray for that. But anyway, on social media, some of the new cooks, now a lot of you may know this, they cannot find self-rising flour. And immediately I thought, well, there's all purpose, you know, make it self-rising. So then I started researching your Walmart, your uh, your Kroger's, different places. They have all-purpose flour, y'all. They don't have self-rising. So a lot of the young cooks out there, you know, are trying to bake or trying to do something. You know, I don't know what it is they're trying to do. But they said they don't have any self-rising. So we're fixing to make self-rising flour out of all-purpose. And like I said, most of you may know this, maybe not. Uh, my ingredients are different, I think, from some others here in Louisiana. We always call a little something a little lanya. So I'm going to do mine a little bit different. So, we don't have self-rising, y'all. You will in about two seconds. Now, this is a ratio for one cup measurements. Okay, so here's my one cup self-rising. Now, I'm not going to dump this like this. I'm going to take the back of a table knife, you know, a, a, I call it a butter knife. Just a table knife. You're going to take the back side and you're going to bring it towards you. Okay, you're leveling. And then I always tap mine. Then I go away from me. That's even measurement of one cup. Then you're going to take two teaspoons of baking powder. Two teaspoons of baking powder. And if y'all don't know about baking powder, there's a little metal lip here. There's a purpose for that. It's no different than the flour you scrape. So that's two teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. Let me get my whisk. I didn't have my whisk with me. Now you have self-rising flour, okay? One cup all-purpose, two teaspoons bacon powder, one half teaspoon salt. Now this is non-iodized, so you can use Himalayan or whatever, but if you have iodized, that's all you have, get after it. It's not a big deal. So it's one, two teaspoons, one half teaspoon, you got self-rising flour. Now I'll tell you another trick. Some of you may not know this. You dumped your flour into your canister or into a bag. And boy, my face itches. Been out in the garden. And you don't remember which container you put what in. I had to get a drink of coffee, y'all. I was about to choke. Um, but you can tell which is self-rising and which is all-purpose. Take your pinky, yes, lick it. Go in here. It's salty. You know why? Because it's self-rising. If you would have tasted the all-purpose, it would have been flour. Very easy trick. Most of you may know, but hey, I'm reaching out to the ones that is getting enthused in the kitchen, trying to cook, uh, spend time with the family. 
So, you got two containers of flour and you don't know which one it is? Taste it. If it's salty, it's self-rising. If it's not salty, it's all purpose. There is my substitute for today. And I got a funny feeling. The ones that don't know, I just made their day. Let's hope I can get the social media young girls over here to see this. Because after yesterday, what I was reading, my heart went out to them. So, here's a quick little video. Now I got me a cup of self-rising. I'm fixing to make some banana bread. I'm not going to waste it. Of course, I'm going to add to it. And I may do a recipe on my banana bread. Because I got some bananas here uh, that's seen its better days. So, we're fixing to make some banana nut bread. Clean my mess up. Drink my coffee. Stay safe. Reach out. Long distance now. Reach out long distance. Love one another. So until next time, which will be tomorrow for another substitute tip, God bless you all.